Today, you're gonna learn how to make a restaurant quality smash burger. Hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Smash burgers are really easy to make at home and I think they taste better because you have all of the best ingredients. Plus, you're gonna love our two ingredient special sauce that just takes these over the top. So let's get started, cause I want a burger. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. To make four smash burgers, you'll need one and a half pounds of 80-20 ground beef. Ground beef that is 80% lean and 20% fat will give you the best flavor and juiciness for burgers. Divide the beef into eight equal portions. They should each be about three ounces and you can use a kitchen scale to make sure you have exactly three ounces for even patties. This is our favorite kitchen scale and I will link to it in the notes. Loosely roll the portions into balls. This reminds me of when I was a kid and I would put rocks in my snowballs. <laughs> I'm a nice person. <laughs> For the record, do not put rocks in your snowball. It's generally a bad idea. Cover your meatballs with plastic wrap and refrigerate them until you're ready to hit the griddle. You want the meat to be cold before you cook it. Now to make our special burger sauce, you'll need just one third cup of mayo and use real mayo and add one teaspoon of yellow mustard. Just a little bit of mustard goes a long way to add great flavor. Just stir those together until they are well combined and set that aside. Now I'm gonna quickly prep the rest of my favorite smash burger toppings. I'm using a red onion, thinly slice that into rings. We love using red onion for burgers because they're a little more mild than yellow onions. Next, thinly slice one large tomato. And if you have any trouble slicing through your tomato, use a serrated knife, which will make it easier. As I prep my toppings, I like placing them onto a serving platter so people can quickly build their burgers. Next, slice up some fresh iceberg lettuce. Peel off the outer leaves because you want the lettuce to be really crisp, so remove any soft leaves. You can see I'm using my serrated knife again. I find this the easiest knife for thinly shredding the lettuce, and thinly shredding it like this just makes it feel and look restaurant style. And last but not least, I love pickles, and especially on burgers, so I'm adding some dill pickles, and these are already pre-sliced, so it's even easier. Just transfer them to a bowl and add it to your platter. All right, our sauce and our toppings are ready to go. I'm also adding four thick slices of medium cheddar cheese to add to the burgers. You wanna have everything prepped and ready to go before your patties start cooking. Now the first thing we're gonna cook are the burger buns. I love to butter them on the cut side and then toast them on the griddle. This is a quick and simple step, but it will completely transform your burgers into restaurant style burgers. You can either spread on some softened butter or brush on some melted butter, whichever is more convenient for you. Now we're gonna head out to the griddle and you can use a skillet for this. You can use an indoor griddle or an outdoor cooktop if you have one. Preheat your cooktop to medium heat, then place the buns on there cut side down and toast them for a minute or two just until they're lightly golden underneath. Once they're done, I like to transfer them to a wire rack just so they don't get steamy underneath. Then we're gonna crank up the griddle to medium high heat. Now to smash burgers, you can either use a spatula with a meat mallet for a press, or you can use a burger press, and I will link to these in the notes. Also, cut some six inch by six inch pieces of parchment paper, or you can purchase pre-cut ones, and I'll link to that in the notes. As soon as the patties are on the preheated griddle, top them with a piece of parchment paper and quickly smash them as thin as you can. If using a spatula, place that down first, then press over the top of it with a meat mallet as a press. I find it's a little quicker and easier to use a burger press. 
and you wanna press directly down over the meat patty and flatten it out really thin to make sure that as much of the meat patty as you can get is making contact with the cooktop. Cook that for about two minutes on the first side. It's just enough time to season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and add a dab of that sauce. Once you see the juices collecting on the surface of the patty, it's time to flip them over. When you're flipping your patty, make sure to scrape firmly underneath the patty to ensure that you keep all of that yummy browning on the patty and don't lose it on your grill. Now cover one patty with a thick slice of medium cheddar cheese, top it with the second patty, and they're ready to take off the grill. That's all there is to it. It's just two minutes on the first side and about a minute on the second side. Now I'm totally craving this burger, so I'm gonna put it together while it's hot and juicy. All right, our burger is cooked and it is time to put this together. Here's how we assemble the perfect smash burger. We start with that sauce on our toasted bun and it's just the two ingredient sauce, but it is really magical on these burgers. You'll love it. Okay, so just spread that around on the bottom bun. I like a generous amount of sauce, okay? And then three slices of pickle and some lettuce. And I love slicing up the lettuce like this. It's so restaurant style and crisp and fresh. Oh, it's good. All right, and then some fresh tomato, two slices of tomato, and a little bit of purple onion. Okay, and then last but not least, the burger. Here we go, here we go. And I love to serve these right off the grill. It's a great idea to pre-assemble this so that as soon as your patties are off the grill, you can just put it on. It's cheesy, it's hot, so fresh, and oh, it's irresistibly good. Okay, here we go. Oh, look how cheesy that is. Yummy yum. <laughs> okay, and then just top it with that top toasted bun and that buttery toasted layer. It just adds great flavor. And if you really wanna serve these restaurant style, here's how to make a wrapper. And this contains the burger, cause it's big, all right? Keeps the mess contained. So here's how you do it. It's really easy. Fold a square sheet of parchment paper in half into a triangle. And then you're gonna place that over your burger, about halfway over your burger. Lift it up, and then we're gonna tuck under one corner, tuck under the second corner, just like so. And then we're gonna bring that bottom corner up and over the burger. It's just like wrapping a present. Boom. <laughs> Love it, restaurant style. So fun, okay. It's nice to wrap them all up like this and put them on a platter and they will disappear fast. Plus the kids love this, cause it's like going out to eat. Okay, now I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna do some eating. <laughs> it's time for that taste test. And I have been so excited for this. Okay, here we go. Except I have to put that whole thing in my mouth right now. And that's gonna be a challenge, but I'm up for a challenge. <laughs> here we go. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Wow, <laughs> I've got burger juice dripping down my arm anyways. It doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, the patties are so juicy. Oh, and then having that cheese wedged in between them, oh, this adds so much great flavor. You'll love the sauce in the patties and on the sandwich, and mayo and mustard just works on a burger. And then all those fresh toppings, you can just really pile it on. That's what I love about making burgers at home. It has all the best ingredients, and I feel good about myself after I eat a homemade burger. <laughs> it doesn't have that same heaviness. And if you're serving kids who aren't big eaters, feel free to give them a single layer smash burger with just a piece of cheese and a patty. It is simple, excellent, and a really quick way to feed a crowd. All right, burgers are made, and kids, it's time for burgers! Yeah. All right, so here's yours. I've got the fun little holders on there. You're very welcome. This here you go, sweetie. Good. Take this, take it in your hands. There you go, there you go. It's easy to eat. Go ahead and chomp in. Mm. Hum. Mm. Say hum. Mm. 
What do you say? What do you think? That she's, she's thinking and thinking. Why? I don't like it. I love it. Aw. It just dripped juice all over the floor. <laughs> but I'm glad you love it. <laughs> really? Thumbs up and thumbs down? All right, okay, we gotta see that. We gotta see that. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. We're gonna eat our burgers. Our delish, delish burgers. Mm. It's also nice to have a nice nah. side of the sauce. Nah. On okay, the if you don't like the burger, I can eat your burger. Nah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, nah. uh-huh. 